welcome back to my channel. So glad you could join me today. I'm going to talk a little bit about getting more organized when it comes to what's in your purse. I know quite a bit as women we have wallets and sometimes these wallets always don't serve all the purposes that we need to. Especially what mine was with a lot of, uh, you know, stuff of receipts and different things in different departments. So I really wanted to get better organized and I wanted to share that with you today of how I did do that. So as you see before you is a pink traveler's notebook and I purchased that on Amazon. As I usually do, all the uh, resources will be posted later for you to find out where I purchased different items and accessories and stuff like that. So as you can see a little, uh, I have a little kitty here that's just something that adds a little bit more pizzazz to the uh, of my personal little wallet here. So let me go ahead and open that so I can share with you of how I created this. It's similar to some of the other videos where I shared about how the pockets and those are definitely functional things to use to hold even your credit cards maybe business cards also additional uh, pockets of longer I guess size pocket to hold any to do post-it notes and things like that you might have I kind of put some little useful motivation things I like to see and remind myself daily so that's another thing you'd like to go ahead and use and they do uh, obviously come with we always talk about the inserts they're plastic and I wanted to put some of the colorful things that I enjoy seeing and I put some of the little kitties in there as you can see in there um, and the other the factor you can see too is a double-sided so that's also a business card of mine kind of covered up some personal information but they also are available to hold your you know license credit cards your medical records uh, cards so if you have one of those to put in there um, and again additional cards for gift and other things and so you know usually you want to keep it to a minimum because that makes a wallet heavy so consider that in the future when you're trying to develop a system easier for yourself now in this is going to be a calendar which I felt that it was so useful and I wanted to try it out and it's called a Hobonichi Weeks and I'll link that as well to show where I purchased that one of the things that I do uh, like about the Hobonichi Weeks it's pretty much and I'll briefly show you that does a show a whole year at a glance and that's something good to see it does actually let, allow you to write in special events for the upcoming months so as you can see here that is another a great feature and again as it goes as a monthly spread and I'll show you a little bit how it looks uh, un, 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 like I said undated so you can see how it looks blank but then also I incorporated how it looks when it's filled up so here's my current month of March and some of the events and things I have going on and then as you can see I went over and I clipped it so then that way I could share a little bit about showing you how I also put in for weekly uh, tasks appointments and fitness so that's the great thing about this you could create it the way it you know fits your lifestyle and that's what I really appreciate but also the size of it because this is called a personal traveler's notebook in size and this fit perfectly in there as well and another great feature, and I'll switch over to go a couple pages and months beyond that, is a uh, section for notes. And I like this feature greatly because now I'm going to go ahead and give it a try of using my spending tracker as a way of keeping a, you know, a little bit of a bird's eye view of my grocery household and things like that, bills. And I get, and it's quite a few uh, spaces, so that's why one of the things you'll see that it's in a grid format, but you could create it any way you want, so that's the freestyle method of doing that. But it gives you a considerably amount of pages, so again, you have enough for at least considerable. I know I write small, but again, that's just an option. You don't have to use it as a spendy tracker. If you want to put other type of notes and other things you love to track, go ahead and do that. But I just wanted to share that Hokunichi um, Weeks is, is a great little functional that will go in there as a planner because it's all um, in one for you in your wallet. And also I, I just included a notebook. And this notebook just keeps some motivational quotes for me throughout the day or maybe some <clears throat> excuse me, brainstorming ideas where you just want to write things down. And those are in, uh, another aspect of the notebook. Uh, as well as also another credit card attachment here you see that it was also part of from uh, what was in the front so again you have more space and more room and you're probably wondering where I put my money well there's a zipper pouch and then that's one great feature you could put your money and I don't want to carry too much change but when I start accumulating I'll put it in a little bank to keep for savings in the future but again once a week I'll clear everything out so it again remains minimal for myself and then again, one of the last features to share with you is there's additional pockets in the back. 
and then also where I keep my receipts. So one of the things that's helping me stay a little bit more organized is to just clean it out weekly so it maintains to be smaller at the same time. It does have a pen loop in there, but I'm kind of currently using the pen loop that was with the Hobonichi Weeks that came separately. So again, the Hobonichi Weeks does is a separate uh, purchase, so you would have to purchase that. It does not come with the Pink Traveler's Notebook. But again, I wanted to show you briefly just how it's combined into one functional system for myself. So again, I put this in my purse. I feel it's handy, especially when I'm out and about ready to grocery shop. Uh, you know, when I need to go ahead and figure what current uh, events happening or jot some things down. So I really feel that, you know, if you're looking for something with more function and a way of just really motivating you to, to be more organized, this might be the thing for you. So I just really wanted to share with you. Uh, my traveler's notebook it's set up as a wallet style and i hope that if this is any way helps you that's great if you have any questions please go ahead and uh, jot that in the box and i'll return to you as soon as possible all right so thank you and have a great week